In this video, you'll see how to analyze activity logs with AWS CloudTrail Lake and Amazon Athena. With this capability, you can federate an event data store in CloudTrail Lake so you can query the data in Amazon Athena with no additional setup. You can then visualize your event data using other services that run on Athena, such as Amazon QuickSight and Amazon Managed Grafana. We'll begin in Amazon S3, where we usually store important data. Today, however, our data is missing. We need to find out immediately who removed the data and how they did it. To get started, let's look at our S3 bucket permissions. The bucket policy denies delete object calls coming from outside our VPC. It's possible that someone started new EC2 instances in the VPC and then made delete object calls from those instances. We can use AWS CloudTrail to figure out who created those EC2 instances. This is the Event Data Stores page in CloudTrail Lake. CloudTrail Lake serves as a central location to immutably store, aggregate, query, and visualize your activity logs. We have an event data store enabled that is already logging management event APIs and S3 data event APIs. At this time, Lake Query Federation is not enabled for this event data store. We'll look at Federation in a moment. Before we begin our investigation, let's run a basic select query to get familiar with the CloudTrail Lake Editor. In the left pane, we have chosen our event data store, and CloudTrail automatically populated the event data store ID in the from line of the query editor. The Command Output tab shows metadata about the query. The Query Results tab shows the event data in the selected event data store that match the query. The columns in the results correspond to the event properties to the left. Next, we'll return to the event data store and enable Lake Query Federation. Federation will allow us to see the metadata associated with the event data store in the AWS Glue data catalog and run SQL queries on the event data using Amazon Athena. We can create a new IAM role or use an existing one. The role must have the required permissions to allow Lake Formation to access event data store data. Note that enabling Federation doesn't incur any costs but queries run on Athena are based on Athena pricing. Lake Query Federation is now enabled. CloudTrail created a managed database named AWS CloudTrail and a managed federated table in the AWS Glue data catalog. Let's take a quick look at the table metadata. The columns in the schema match those we saw in the CloudTrail Lake Query Editor. In addition, we can see the data type for each. On the next tab, we can view the partitions. These can be filtered on calendar day so Athena doesn't have to scan all the data. Next, let's go to AWS Lake Formation to look at the database details. From the Actions drop down menu, we can grant and revoke permissions to view the data. Now let's go to Amazon Athena so we can query the delete object calls. The first query we'll run selects the event name, user identity, source IP address, and event time from the federated event data store. In the left pane, we can view the table schema. We can even run a query to preview the table. Let's go back to the first query. Notice that this query filters on delete object calls coming from within our VPC and on a specific calendar day, and it orders them by event time. Let's run the query now. The results show that someone assumed the role name Hacker and deleted objects from our VPC. We have the source IP addresses and the event times. We can use the source IP addresses, which were captured from our VPC flow logs, to identify the EC2 instances involved. For demonstration purposes, we've already configured the VPC flow logs to be sent to an S3 bucket, and we have a glue table pointing to that S3 bucket. We'll join the Federated Event Data Store with the VPC flow logs to find out which EC2 instances made delete object calls. Here's the VPC flow logs table schema.
This query joins on the source IP address and groups by instance ID. Let's run it. Five instances made delete object calls. The next query will help us figure out who created these instances. This query runs the previous one as a subquery, storing the results in a temporary table called instance IDs. Next, it selects instance ID, source IP address, and user identity ARN, and filters on run instances. A response element then filters on the instance events that created the instance IDs from the subquery. Let's run the query. Looking at the ARN column, we see that it was the admin role that created these instances and deleted data. That means we are the culprit. Now that we've identified the culprit, let's find out how much these EC2 instances cost. For that, we'll query the cost report from the AWS Billing Console. We've configured the billing data to be sent to an S3 bucket, and we have a glue table pointing to that S3 bucket. The only columns we care about for this demo are product service code, line item resource ID, and line item blended cost. Let's run this simple query to see what those values might look like. We're going to be filtering on Amazon EC2 for product service code. The line item resource ID is going to be the instance ID, and line item blended cost is the actual cost. Let's look at the query. We'll use the same subquery as before to get the instance IDs that made the delete object calls. We'll join that data with the cost report, group by instance ID, and then sum up all the costs. Now we have the cost breakdown per instance ID. This capability is useful in a production environment if there's an incident. Another benefit of CloudTrail Lake Federation is the ability to use visualization and analytics services that run on top of Athena. For example, we could create a report for this delete object scenario in Amazon QuickSight by running a SQL query and then publishing the results to a dashboard. Here we can explore and interpret the data in an interactive visual environment. You've just seen how to analyze activity logs with AWS CloudTrail Lake and Amazon Athena. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.